So this little green blob over here, the little green blob, that happens to be the stomach. I'm studying things in the Southern Ocean, um, more specifically little animals, zooplankton. I love the ocean. I don't know how to explain it. Like I've always had an affinity for water. Water's always given me some sense of, I don't know, calmness. There's so much to study and such a variety of things to do. I mean, you can go from ocean studies to coastal studies, and then once you hit the coast, it's just like spreads out. I mean, you've got rocky shores like this, where you look at mussels and limpets and all those kind of things, or you can go into the estuary. I mean, two totally different ecosystems. So it's quite phenomenal. For my master's studies, to, to get samples that I wanted to get, I had to go down to a place called Marion Island and um, in order to do that we had to take a big ship, the SA Gullis and yeah we left in April and we got back in the middle of May and that was great, I mean like such an experience, travelling on the ocean, in the big seas and all that kind of stuff, that's cool, it's really really cool and then seeing an island but not many people get to see, you know, it's like a protected environment and to be able to get on it and have to go and chomping around on it and seeing penguins and seals and birds and stuff. It is an ocean study and oceans are vital to the survival of the Earth. And if we can understand aspects of it more than what we do, then I think it's adding to knowing what our Earth is all about. And also then putting, you know, putting the whole big picture together. Like you study all these things in theory and then you actually go down there and you see it and you're like, wow, it actually does work like the way they say it does.